Good morning. Uh, today we are with Sabino Cassese, uh, Justice Emeritus of the Italian Constitutional Court and Emeritus Professor of the Scuola Normale Superiore of Pisa. Uh, good morning. Good morning. We are very pleased to have you this morning. Uh, you will close the last day with your keynote speech of the Masterclass Global Actor for Peace. And the subject of your piece, uh, of your piece, sorry, of your speech is entitled Global, Demo uh, Global uh, Dimension of Democracy and Peace. Can you maybe tell us a little bit more about the, this global dimension of democracy and peace? Uh, yes, um, I, I will address two points. The first one is, can there be a global democracy? I mean, in the area of globalization, in the world of globalization, is there any space for democracy? And the second point will be, can democracy and peace be imported from the global world into the national setting? And I will... Uh, try to make a few examples. Uh, one is the recent uh, decision resolution of the European Parliament on Hungary. And the other one is the, uh, the peace building fund of the UN. You may know that the United Nations, they have a fund in order to uh, build peace. In, uh, in, in many countries. So they give money in order to increase the possibility, increase peace and avoid war, you see. These are the two points that I'm going to discuss today with, uh, with the students. Professor Cassese, from uh, your academic contribution, mm -hmm. you generally can see, I think, a kind of positive narratives towards the role that global actors can play yeah. in uh, improving national mm -hmm. democracy and generally domestic legal standards. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you assess this age of distrust uh, that apparently we are living, uh, considering global political developments or general distrust that we see in uh, domestic democracies. Um, what would be your assessment of these recent developments towards? I have a kind of very optimistic aptitude <laughs> <laughs> approach because I find I'm an Hegelian. I find that crises are useful. I always remember a sentence by the, the German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt. Once he said that Europe develops through crisis. And uh, also another sentence by Jean Monnet, who in his memoir wrote that the uh, steps made one by one by the European Union are just the resolution of a crisis. You see, so the result of a crisis is a development. So crises are useful. Thank you. And maybe uh, more from a student perspective. Yeah. Um, throughout the master class, uh, we saw that, well, sometimes law is not as efficient as a law student could expect it would be. Uh, in the reality of things. So what would you say to law students to keep the optimism, or students in general? Well, you see, the problem is that we cannot uh, think that the law is going to resolve, provide a resolution for every kind of problem and conflict. So it is, on one side is law, on the other side are the traditions, the society itself, the self-production of law by the society, la coutume. And, and therefore, there is a combination of law, by law I mean the decisions taken by parliaments, by law I mean the jurisprudence of courts on one side, and on the other side, the cooperation of people, you see, because Voluntary cooperation is part of the, what we call the legal system. The legal system is not only made of la loi uh, on, one, on one side and the jurisprudence of the courts on the other side. 
Thank you. Thank you very much for having been with us, Professor Cassese. This is our last masterclass in Peels. Mm -hmm. Thank you to all of us for having been with us uh, over this week of the masterclass, and see you all next year. Thank you again, Professor Cassese. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>